Should I use hype or should I hype it up? That's the question I'm going to answer here. Um, look, a lot of people think that that's all sales is. It's just hype, more hype, and more hype. And yet the good salespeople know how to combine, you know, all the stuff that you need to make an intellectual, you as a prospective buyer, all the stuff that you have to do to make a good intellectual decision to spend your money fueled with the, what some people would call hype. Now, um, I say the answer is yes, you should hype it up. You should always hype it up. Uh, because you've got to cut through the clutter of all of these other sales messages that are out there competing for your prospective buyer's attention. So you've got to hype it up. And, um, but you also have to realize that people are skeptical, they're cynical, they're jaded. You have to start from the premise that nobody believes a damn word that you say. And I'll say that again. I'll say that again. In all of your messages, uh, all of your marketing messages, all of your sales presentations, you have to assume right out of the get, right out of the get go, the, right out of the gate, assume that nobody believes a damn word that you say. And when you start with that assumption, then you're gonna you're gonna make a case for why you're t why what you're telling them is true. You're gonna make the most solid case possible. But if but if all it is is just facts and figures, you're gonna bore the crap out of people. Bored people don't buy. So there's got to be that certain element of emotion that goes with it, hype, if you will, the big promise. You know, somebody said hundreds of years ago. Uh, there's a quote that just said the. The soul of an advertisement is the, is a big promise, or a big promise is the soul of an advertisement. That quote goes back hundreds of years ago, and it's even more true. You've got to make big, bold promises, but then you've got to prove to people why those promises, uh, really can, why you can, why you can deliver on those promises. Remember, what people want more than anything else is total certainty, but a certain amount of hype is absolutely positively required. Now, I will say that in this legal world that we live in, you've got to be so careful. You've got to be so careful to disclaim big, huge promises, and and uh, especially when you're doing recorded um, presentations and stuff that are for the masses of people, where um, you know anybody can listen and all that kind of stuff. You've got to disclaim, disclaim, disclaim. Uh, from a legal standpoint, legal, moral, and ethical, you've got to disclaim the crap out of all of this, and you've got to let your let your prospective buyers know why you're disclaiming it. You know these these people are not stupid. They know that we live in a nation of laws. They know that again. They just see that as honesty. When you when you say now look, I must tell you, I'm, you know, so you're making a bunch of big bold promises, and then you say look. I can't promise or guarantee, you know, from a moral ethical standpoint, uh, then you go into your disclaimer part of it. But, man, if you don't hype it up, if you think that somehow you're going to go out there and make a ton of sales and separate yourself from all the other salespeople by not hyping it up, then you're losing a whole lot of money that could and should be yours. So you got to, you know, you've got to make those big, bold promises and that re does require a little hype, you know. People want the dream to be real. They buy for emotional reasons. And the, and the bigger the promise, the more excitement that goes behind that. So, look, hype is a subjective word anyway. What, what one person calls hype, another person won't call hype at all. So, you know, just like beauty is in the eye of the beholder or whatever. It's just it's a little bit subjective, but... Yeah, look at the people, look at the marketers that, that are making the most money, the marketers, salespeople that are making the most money. You'll see that there is a certain amount of hype that goes into everything that they do. They're, they're, they're painting the picture. They're making that dream real. Uh, they're getting people fired up. They're getting people excited. There's nothing that does that like, like a big, bold promise and, and some stories that get people so excited and, 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 and unleashing that enthusiasm. Uh, um, you know, so that so that people are really catch, capturing that that spirit of the whole thing. So you got to hype it up. And if you think that somehow you're going to be different than all the rest of the people by not hyping it up, I just I just think you're you're really in the end you're just fooling yourself. You're hurting yourself uh, because the market is just full of hype. 
And the market is full of big promises, and in order to compete with that, you've got to cut through that clutter just a little bit. You've got to get people excited from an emotional standpoint. Look for products and services that, that do, that do um, uh, let you make solid claims that really get people excited, get their attention, get them all fired up, um, and, then, and then temper that with, with good intellectual solid arguments, uh, of why you're saying, uh, why what you say is true, uh, followed up with, uh, risk reversal as much as you can, you know, with, uh, better than risk free guarantees and, and all kinds of things that help protect people, um, to assure them that in case, in case they're not happy that, uh, that they're gonna not only get their money back, but they're gonna get their money back plus all these other great things or whatever. That's all part of the, hey, that's all part of the hype too, if you will. So, what, again, what some people call hype, others would question if that's hype at all. And so, but, but don't be afraid to go over the top. Don't be afraid to make the biggest, boldest promises that you can and look out, try to pay attention to the other marketers, the other salespeople that are out there and, and see what 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 kind of messages they're putting out there, because um, the more you do that, the more you'll you'll recognize um, uh, some of those big bold promises that I talked about. So I hope that this has helped. If you're watching the YouTube channel, you want to know more about who I am and what I'm doing. Just click on the link below. If you're one of my clients, uh, thank you for listening to this. Hope something I've said made a difference here.